Pullman Talks, a podcast where we share all our challenges and milestones, giving you our perspective as high achievers, entrepreneurs, and hopefully fantastic human beings. Our goal is to empower and inspire others like us. Once a month, you will hear the stories from the superstar who are making their ways in this incredible world. Welcome from your hosts, Cinzia Dona and Sara Fiordi. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, how are you? Welcome to our episode. So today we are going to talk about boundaries, how to set up the right boundaries. Exactly. And why is it so important to respect yourself in life in general, but especially in your business too? Yes, we definitely have me and Cinzia learning about this. <laughs> of course. How yeah, important uh, is to set up your boundaries. And we also talk about it, how difficult it can be in the beginning of our businesses to mm. set up boundaries because we have this big passion. We want to do so many things. Uh, we have so many things to do to build our businesses. And definitely setting boundaries maybe can go like after all our other priorities mm. so we don't really do that when we start our business i find it very common yeah absolutely absolutely especially when you start because you have such a passion as you said and uh, such a drive it's going to be difficult uh, for yourself to settle the boundaries but tonight uh, what we're going to discuss uh, it's it's basically also like uh, let's start with the reason why as always uh, as <laughs> like everything in life uh, we should start with the reason why it's so important uh, to set up boundaries and set up the right boundaries as well. So, of course, having respect for yourself is the first thing that you should learn. And um, having respect for yourself and others, it comes with time. I guess possibly in our society, we are more prone to respect other people instead than us, yeah. firstly. And uh, yeah, and for this reason, we, we usually expect other people to respect us. But of course, we set up different boundaries between, uh, between us. So no one has, has going to have the same. So for this reason, it's, it's important to set them up in the correct way right. and, uh, and explain why they are so important for you. I like that. And, and when you were saying respect ourselves, I think that mm. it's very connected with boundaries because the moment that we don't put boundaries in our life or in our business, how we mm. can expect other people to respect our boundaries mm. if we don't have them. Yeah, absolutely. They are not bad people. They simply doesn't know that we have boundaries. So it's up to us to set them up and communicate them. Yeah, exactly. And the consequences of not having boundaries is definitely not respecting yourself and not having even a healthy day. Mm. Because if you say yes to everything, say yes to everybody, it will be difficult to take care of yourself and respect your time. Of course. So having boundaries, I feel that it's a, yeah, it's a self, uh, self-care practice. So maybe, maybe we should share like an example or maybe we should share like a Agreed. personal story or something like that specifically of uh, um, a challenge that we faced uh, during this month, possibly. Yes, definitely. So in business, so we talk about business. Of course, we're talking about business because uh, I think like that's our main yeah. um, main thrive anyway. But of course, uh, it can be business related, but it can be life related. Yeah. Even because like uh, as possibly all of you will know as well, uh, your business uh, ultimately it's just a reflection of your personal life Agreed. and uh, especially when uh, when when you're starting up when you have a startup or a small business uh, or you are on your way to become a successful uh, business owner or entrepreneur yeah. it's surely going to be a reflection of your life <laughs> yes absolutely agree with what you to say and was that something that i can share that happened to me this month that maybe mm-hmm. can be yeah we definitely connected with boundaries. I was saying yes to everything, like, you know, uh, to a session with a client, to a coffee with someone else. I was saying yes to so many things. And what's happening when you say yes to everything, you actually don't even block your time. So, for example, for me, morning, it's, it's mm. non-negotiable. 
it's the time of the day where I work for my business and I am most creative, I have the more energy. And I started this month to say yes so during that time too. Mm. So I was pretty much putting my boundaries on the side and start to say yes. And that was happening that in the end of the day, I was tired, mm. frustrated, upset with myself. And I didn't even serve the person that I was with or even present during the coffee with the other person because I did that and I didn't do the most important thing for my business in the morning. Mm. Yeah. So that I learn it and I sit down and I ask myself, mm, there is something that I need to change here. Yeah, I have to put some boundaries on again. Because what I feel that even when we learn to put them, we have moments in life that we get lost. Of course, yeah, of course. And, and that's so back. normal. Yeah. Absolutely so normal. So that's happened to me. And after that, I put back the boundaries again, mm -hmm. I felt better. Yeah. Because when I do a coffee or I have a chat with someone, I am more happy because I already expect my boundaries in the morning. Yeah. So I feel happy, less frustrated and ready to serve that person and be present with that person. Mm. And what about you, Chin? So which one was your challenge this month? For myself, it's actually pretty interesting because I think um, lately, well, I've been working a lot on my boundaries uh, and uh, I've been practicing how to set them up uh, yeah. um, quite actively and mindfully as well. Um, so I think for myself this month, uh, the actual challenge was uh, finding the correct way of um, of communicating these boundaries mm -hmm. because uh, of course uh, yes i know that they are important i know how like how they're gonna make me feel better and uh, how they're gonna serve me as well to be more productive and uh, to be like just happier about my day in general yeah. and uh, also accomplish uh, many other, like many more things um i think like the problem uh, it's actually communication with one clients or like friends or like family yeah. with yeah. like everyone like how to communicate them in a way that is not disrespectful is understood correctly and uh, it's clear <laughs> i think Chinsa, what you just shared it i think can be very inspiring and most of the people that will listen to that will feel resonate for sure because the biggest challenge is communicate with them with because setting mm. them up like in our own time i think it's the easiest part yeah, but actually go to that person, your client, exactly. your boyfriend or your family and say, this is my boundaries and I really would love you to respect that. Yeah. That's when most of the people are struggling. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you be happy to share? Absolutely. And it's actually um, like something that I wanted to discuss as well. And uh, something that I was reflecting on is the fact that, of course, our uh, last episode was about uh, um, yeah, self-love. Yeah and how to set up like uh, um, tough love or gentle love on yourself and all these kind of things, uh, which of course uh, helped me realize uh, the fact that you have to love yourself and uh, you have to like uh, ensure that you're looking after yourself first mm -hmm. in the first place before looking after other people. Because uh, of course, if your love tank is not full, it's, it's, it's not gonna happen. You cannot give love. No, you can't. Absolutely. So like, and even like you cannot, well, apart from love and uh, like talking about personal relationships uh, and these sort of things, uh, even in your business, uh, of course, it's something that you, you actually love to do. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to provide the right service, the right product, the right, the right thing. If you're now, your cup is not full. And it's so interesting that you say that yeah. because I felt that in the past few weeks, like, if I'm not taking care of myself, if I'm not putting boundaries, if I'm not doing that, if I'm not communicating that to my clients and to the people around me, how can I be good in my business? Absolutely. My business is a relationship. Absolutely. I well. absolutely agree with this. And even the fact that, so coming from uh, um, a place where I understand uh, I have to love myself, mm. after understanding this, of course, uh, you start realizing how you're going to love yourself. And what are the things that are important to you? And of course, like, uh, as, as we say before in the society, but also because uh, we love so much what we're doing, uh, it's actually difficult to, to have boundaries. So you, you don't actually know, um, that, that you're actually disrespecting yourself by doing this because you feel, you feel good. You feel pumped about like, uh, 
you know, like always providing the next product, always like having yeah. that call and like communicating with the client and yeah. like uh, just keep work, 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 work. And then, so, and, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, and then it's, it's a mess. <laughs> and then it's a mess, but it's super right. And, and I find that as a creative people, mm. like when you have a business, your creativity expand. Yeah. That's what I, 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 I we all are creative, but I find that since I have a business owner, I am more creative than I used to be mm. and more idea come to my mind constantly. Yeah. And the passion, the drive, the creativity is good, but can be also <laughs> an enemy because mm. then you end up working every day, yeah, exactly. boundaries and exactly. say yes to everything. Yeah. And, I mean, it's important. Yeah. I think like it's still important when you're in the flow, even if you have a boundary, like, of course, like uh, a boundary, like uh, it, it's not something, uh, I don't know, black or white, like it cannot even like be like too strong, you know, like uh, you also have to be flexible with yourself, with other people. It, that's also okay. That's another problem. Absolutely. It, it is actually You're a too much problem. strong. Like <laughs> having a, a boundary that it's non-negotiable, it's okay. But if you have 10 boundaries that are all of them non-negotiable, yeah, yeah, like uh, absolutely. I, I can see you <clears throat> never, or I can never talk to you because you know you have so many boundaries in place that I'm not able even to see you. I need to send you a letter or something <laughs> to be able to communicate <laughs> with you. What do I need to do? So yeah. that's another point. Asking yourself if you actually have maybe too many boundaries. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Um, but Cindy, I know <laughs> that all our listeners want to know. Ow. How to Ow. do it? How to do this? <laughs> this vendor is, of course. So we actually developed the, the perfect, like, I don't know, step by step guide <laughs> <laughs> on how to set yes, them up. Give up. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So, well, first of all, hmm. I think uh, it's, uh, it's a matter of um, understanding uh, what you need to communicate. So, with that, I mean, uh, being clear and being calm when when you say this. So being calm when you set up your boundary with another person, it's actually the key. And that's because of course, uh, like usually setting up a boundary will create a stress in you. You will feel stressed around it because uh, you don't know like how the other person will react and you might think the other person like uh, would misunderstand you or maybe, um, maybe i don't know they wouldn't be open or especially if you never had that boundary with this other person before it would be a shock it it could be a shock so actually staying calm and uh, letting the other person uh, feel that this is okay it's not something stressful it's not something weird or crazy or like uh yeah that like uh it, like the other person should feel danger around it, it's actually super important. Yeah, so okay. that's step one. And then uh, um, with like a clear message, I actually have a precise structure. <laughs> of course. Uh, of course, freaking Virgo. <laughs> she said that, that. I would be surprised to the opposite. <laughs> Do of you course. send me Google advice? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly, yes, a spreadsheet in, on Excel, and I'm like, yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> we can give you that, guys, <laughs> no problem. Of course. Um, but yeah, so like there is a specific structure that like you can use within your sentence on how to communicate. It. And basically it's uh, communicating how you feel first. Yeah. So I feel, uh, I don't know, I feel uh, overwhelmed or I feel unloved. I feel, uh, I feel you are invading my space. So like uh, ensuring that you let the other person know how you feel about um, breaking up this boundary. Yeah. Um, and after this, uh, you can start communicating, I need. So I need you to not call me from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. You yeah. know, like uh, I need to have the space. So I need specifically this, which must be an action. It must be something tangible yeah. and it must be something... Uh, that the other person can do in a very clear way. So it cannot be like, just guess what I'm feeling, just like guess what you have to do. Communicate or, clearly. Exactly. What just you like, need. Absolutely, absolutely. This is very important as well, because uh, 
you know, you cannot expect the other person mm. reading your mind. No, they can't. <laughs> it's not their job, neither. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is works very well even in business. If you have a client, for example, <laughs> say that, like, mm. I'm not answering yeah. phone calls during my day off, for example, or after five o'clock, my phone is off and I will get back to you tomorrow mm. or I will get to go back to you when I'm coming back working uh, the next yeah. day. So even to a client, because I know that for many business owners mm. it, can, it can be challenging, say that to a client, it works exactly the same. Mm. I'm not answering my phone from these to these. Yeah. Yeah. I will get back to you yeah. tomorrow. Or Which I think like, uh, well, if, um, if like um, most, the major part of our listeners are actually business owners uh, or people who are starting, I think like, um, I don't know, a good trick, it can actually be like setting up uh, um, an automated email or like an automated answer or something like that, that will get back to your clients yeah. to say, I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. I'm not answering because, yeah, because I have my bad in place. <laughs> People actually say that every day. I have my memories in place, so I will get back to you tomorrow. Exactly, exactly. Of course. So yeah, having that automation can yeah. also help setting up expectations from the other side too. Oh yes. Yeah. So you know, it's yeah. it's, it's so simple to do, and like it's of course like time effective, but also it ensures that yeah. the other person still feel like. This is important or exactly. it's important. Exactly. And you can do this on social media as well now. Of course. So it's, yeah, you it's know, a good Facebook, thing. Instagram, yeah. whatever. Like, and so it's, easy. You give importance to the other person. Like I'm not ghosting you or anything. Exactly. I am simply busy and I will get back to you tomorrow. Yeah. 100%. That can work very well for our, us as a business owner, you know? Yeah. So it, within the, um, within this structure that like I was telling you, of course, I feel I need the last part of this structure that it's so important is actually also ensuring that the other person understands the reason why. So oh, yes. I feel this way, therefore I need this because this will make me feel this other way. Yeah. So also communicating this is actually ensuring that there is an open communication mm. with the other person. Yeah and letting them understand that it is actually a healthy boundary. You're not being unreasonable if they don't understand the boundary. You're not being unreasonable yeah. with them. Um, but yeah, it's just so important for you because of this reason. I, I like that. And it's powerful <clears throat> because you also make the other person like important to be heard. It's not just about you. It's also about the other person. Mm. And if the other person doesn't understand the boundary that doesn't really matter mm. why what the other person need to do is to respect the boundaries absolutely absolutely maybe because for someone else no reply the phone from i don't know five to the next day it's mm -hmm. unbelievable mm -hmm. but for me maybe it's it's what i want to do because i want to yeah, exactly. present the night time in my activity with my family and blah 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 but doing this um, mm. this structure there is respect from both sides yeah, of course. And there is no pressure, there is no, oh, this is my boundaries, this is what you need to do, because that's not the way to communicate mm. boundaries. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and no, so many people does that, get upset, get angry, mm. but that's not an effective way of communication. And, and we, we could open a book here around, <laughs> around, the, communication. Book, uh, around the communication. <laughs> but the key is to com communicate clearly and with calm and also say how you feel. I feel overwhelmed. I feel that I'm not able, you know, to do what I'm supposed to do properly without these boundaries. So can you please support me with that? Mm. And also sometimes have exactly. uh, some compromise. Exactly. So I was actually going to say that the next step to this, after you communicate it, mm. especially when it's a hard boundary and especially when it's something um, not life changing, but like it's something that it's possibly going to be quite challenging. For the other person to understand yeah. i believe that the right questions uh, um, to open a conversation after are of course are you willing to support me so because this boundary is so important to me it's gonna make me feel better it's gonna make me feel yeah. like so much greater you know like it's gonna make me feel whatever i need in this moment in my life yeah. 
are you willing to support me? Who's yeah. gonna say no? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it can happen, you know, like you would never know, of course. And it's also case, like, uh, because uh, like, it's also important to say that it's not like, it's not um, a rhetoric question uh, yeah. to just being assertive with, with a listener in this case, but it's actually like a true question of mm -hmm. ensuring like, uh, you know, like, I'm like, you're basically saying I am loving myself. Yeah. Therefore, this is important to me. Please. Listen. Yeah, listen and, and give me your support. And I think it, that's a good question actually to ask and also to see the relationship mm -hmm. that you have with that person. Because boundaries are giving you an overview mm -hmm. of the quality of your relationship. If yeah. uh, a friend doesn't respect yeah. your boundaries of and course. say, I'm not going to willing to support you because I don't like these boundaries, blah, 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 you may have to reconsider that friendship absolutely or the relationship with the client yeah. because if a client is just taking your all your energy of course it's a, a toxic relationship of course and maybe you need to reconsider of course the relationship so i think in like it's in, worth um, it to try in in friendships uh, and love relationships uh, this topic is like it's super relevant uh, and it's like it's it, it's actually a huge topic yeah yeah but even if um if you actually translate it for example in a leadership uh, yeah. um, kind of environment of course setting up those boundaries uh, even uh, if, if you're just like an employee working for for someone yeah. um, setting up those boundaries with uh, with your manager or like with your boss uh, that's also like very important and you know you, you can use the same formula you can use the same structure <clears throat> to ensure that yeah your your, your manager like yeah. will absolutely understand uh, where you're coming from and respecting you Mm, and respecting you of course yes. but yeah and of course like even asking you like are you willing to support me you know like uh, yeah. growing up in the business growing up in this company like uh, that's the like i don't know the most honest and beautiful thing that you could do because it means that you're actually willing to grow together yeah. with yeah with this company so it, i think what what she just shared it's applicable for everything absolutely pretty much your relationship with friends, your relationship with a partner, business, uh, work-wise. And without boundaries, we end up to be frustrated and to definitely not love ourselves and to don't have any healthy relationship. Mm. Because you maybe say yes to many things, to say yes to everybody, but you don't say yes to yourself. So yeah. putting some boundaries on, it's a saying yes to yourself and put yourself first. So yeah. you can be your best at work in a friendship or in a relationship, sure. and in everything that you do. Sure. Also to close up, I think like um, the, the last question that like, well, not the last question, but like uh, um, another very important question yeah. to ask after setting up a boundary. So of course, after asking, uh, okay, are you willing to support me? Cool. But also, it's also important to ask, is this okay mm. for you? Yes. And uh, is it a boundary that you can understand, you can support, uh, like, how do you feel about it? Uh, yeah. And, uh, and these sort of things, like, am I being unreasonable for, for setting this up? Like, what are your thoughts? Can we compromise somehow? Okay. And uh, let's discuss about it. And um, with this question, I think uh, the thing that it's really important to understand, especially if it's a negative answer. So if you ask, it, it is okay for you. No. Then the answer is no. No, <laughs> no exactly. it's not okay for me. <laughs> all right, all right. And now here, like the, the, the true thing is understanding the real reason why. Yeah. So why is this not okay for you? Yeah. Why can you not see my point of view? And uh, what am I triggering in you that you cannot see and support uh, yeah. on this boundary? understand mm. absolutely and at the same time that the person feel hurt like it's not just you putting that boundaries on and you don't care about the other person but you care mm. and you want to know their point of view and maybe depends on the boundaries that you have mm. you can compromise of course depends on the boundaries of course. some boundaries are maybe non-negotiable and yeah. then it's going to be more challenging yeah definitely but maybe other one are negotiable and you can compromise something to make also the other person happy and you still happy and have your boundaries in place 100 percent. i think uh, i think like i would like to to close up with an example like in the yes. workplace uh, or something that i think the major part uh, of people uh, mm. can relate 
to these, uh, especially when they're working for someone else. Yeah. Um, and it's usually around the, like days off oh, and yes. uh, sick days. So, you know, actually, like, um, I discovered that like so many people uh, are like, they have problems and issues uh, be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm staying home, I'm sick. Mm. You're like, you're an adult, like, you can make that decision yourself and you're totally allowed yes, absolutely. <laughs> to take a sick day. <laughs> yes, yeah. you also are entitled to so. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, yeah. you know, like, we're in 2022, we have human rights, so absolutely, yes. <laughs> um, but setting up that boundary, mm. even like uh, with, um, um, I don't know, with people above you of not contacting you on Ooh, your days yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> you know, and like even having that communication on like, uh, okay, are you willing to support me? And like, is this okay for you? Okay, if not, if you keep like, I don't know, messaging me or like reaching out and all these sort of things. So you are not respecting that. First of all, you're not respecting that. But second, okay, why are you doing that? Yeah. Like, why can you not respect yeah. my boundary? Why are you disrespecting me? So understanding that reason why and uh, making that other person uh, understand uh, yeah. that like this might be, I don't know, apart from disrespectful, but like also non-realistic as well. Like uh, it's like a so wrong important. expectation. Yeah. Yeah. That could be like, um, I don't know. Yeah. In business as well. Yeah, of course. Of because course. Because the fact that we have, we have a business, it means that we work every day 24 hours, but actually Of course. Not. Yeah. And 100%. And communicate to respect uh, oh, your days off. Definitely. And if that person keeps messaging you or keeps texting you, blah, 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 that's the, another part. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, I need to put in place again my, my boundaries. Maybe I haven't communicated of properly. Course. Of course. And then if you use those steps, you yeah. will be definitely able I mean, even to make think, it clear. Uh, even think when you're actually like, when you need to deliver a project and you have a deadline, oh, yeah. like some things like can happen, like, you know, like we are humans. So of course, so sometimes the vendor is actually letting the other person understand yeah. that things happen oh, and yes. the, you're not going to be able to meet that deadline. And that's absolutely okay. Like the world is not going to end. No, it's not <laughs> going to end. I mean, the boundary is never going to end until you put them on place. So it's up to you to do it. And I hope with today we give it you, you know, a tool to implement yeah, absolutely. it and to communicate those boundaries because just write them down. It's not enough. We actually of have course, to do the work uh, and the work course, is going uh, and communicate with them. Cinzia, we have also to do it. You know that, right? <laughs> 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 Not just you guys, also us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah, we would love to hear from you as well. Uh, if you have any, Absolutely. yeah, any, I don't know, thoughts uh, or like, what yeah. are the boundaries that you're gonna, you're gonna set up? Uh, what, and actually I think like, um, a very interesting question that you can ask yourself uh, it's also what are the boundaries uh, that you find difficult to set up and uh, you cannot um, accept or like yeah. you cannot express easily mm. um, I think it would be and very why helpful. and why yeah and learning for yourself why you can't communicate the boundaries mm. what's actually going on mm. and last thing that I promise you we, we let you go <laughs> boundaries is such a big topic Sometimes we don't communicate the boundaries, we are afraid to communicate it because it's actually our perspective, it's our reflection. I'm afraid that the person will leave or the person mm. will not um, like me anymore or a client will go away if I yeah, set up these boundaries and they will not buy from, from me anymore. So it's definitely connected with ourselves often. How do we see Exactly, ourselves? exactly. And, and that's what I was trying to communicate as well. Because of course, when you're setting up a boundary, it's actually coming from yeah. self-love and the confidence. Not feeling Ab enough. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, it's so important to yeah. remind yourself uh, of your worth. And uh, yeah, yeah. agree. Yeah. That, that, that step first, you know, mm. ask yourself why you can't communicate that. And then when you know why, try to overcome that, that beliefs and the way that you mm. see yourself and then communicate the boundaries with Absolutely. the steps, and you're gonna kill it. Absolutely. Well, I hope uh, um, I hope we've been uh, inspirational to you, and we've been, uh, I don't know, 
helpful as well. Of course, of course. Yes. So I'll see you next month. Yes. Next month with the full moon and another new topic. Of course. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. If you feel aligned with our vibes and our way of overcoming big or small obstacles, subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to personally connect or discover more of what we do in our businesses, check out our websites shared in the podcast description. Thank you.